Hi, welcome to the self-learning series for Control-M Workload Automation Products. My name is James Pendergrass and I'm a Technical Support Analyst for Control-M Distributed Systems. This is a series of self-learning videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day -day task with Control-M. The title of today's video is How to Check the Communications Between Server and Agent. In this video, we're going to look at how the Control-M server and Control-M agent communicate. We'll look at the life cycle of a job, how Control-M server starts a job and gets updates from the agent, the communication ports for the server and the agent, the agent tracker, how the agent uh, talks with the server, take a quick look at agent debug, and then we'll finish up with how Control-M server communicates with the agent through the NS process. Let us look at a simplified life cycle of a job. On the left side of the screen, we have the server processes, SL, which schedules, NS, which communicates with the agents, and TR, which tracks all currently running jobs. On the right side, we have CTM AG, which is the agent listener process. He forks the jobs off and notifies the job the agent tracker. And the CTM TR, which is the agent tracker, and he is the one that keeps up with the status of jobs. So the flow is SL schedules and updates the job. When it's time to run, it sends a message to NS. NS sends that message across to the agent, to the listener process, the CTM AG. The CTM AG forks the job and notifies CTM TR, the tracker, of the running job. CTM TR tracks the running job on the agent, sends NS any updates from the job. The server also has a tracker, and its tracker tracks the status of all executing jobs every 10 to 15 minutes. If there's a problem with the agent communicating back to the server and updating statuses, the statuses will, of the jobs will get updated every 10 to 15 minutes by the server tracker process. The tracker process communicates with the agent listener and just uh, goes through that channel. So as long as the agent is available, the server tracker can run and get a status. If you're having jobs that run one to two minutes but take 10 to 12 minutes to update, make sure that the CM tracker, CTM tracker on the agent can communicate back to the NS. Make sure that there's no firewall or anything preventing the agent from opening communications back to the server machine. There are two ports that we're concerned with in this video. They are the agent to server port and the server to agent port. The control M server listens on the agent to server port. There is only one port running on the server that listens for all of the agent communications from all of the different agents. Each agent listens on the server to agent port. Each agent can have a different server to agent port. So each agent can listen on a different port. They can all listen on the same port. The server utility CTM Diagcom will show the communication status of the communication with a particular agent. The agent utility AG Diagcom will show the communication status between that agent and the server. Let's take a quick look at these utilities. Here's an example of running the AG Diagcom. In the, in the output for this, there's quite a bit of information. It has the version, what platform it's running on, the agent host name, the server host name, server to agent port, the agent to server port, the protocol version, uh, whether it's the connection mode, and most importantly, Unix ping to server platform succeeded, agent ping succeeded. Let's look at an example from the server side with the CTM Diagcom command with the agent. Get similar information. We get the version, the platform that it's running on, server to agent, agent to server ports, the protocol version, and the connection mode, and most importantly, Unix ping to agent, and control M server or CTMS ping to agent. In this screen, I cut the relevant information out from the previous two screens just to get them on one screen where we could see it closer. We see that in both instances, the server to agent port is correct at 7006, the agent to server port is correct at 7005, and the protocol version is 9 in both, and the 
communication connection mode is transient. These are the things that you want to look for if you're having communication problems with agents. Check that the ports are correct, check the protocol is correct, and that the connection mode is the same on both. We will not be going into detail in this video and how to read the diagnostics or the debug that Control M is capable of producing. Uh, we'll just touch on the fact that uh, agent has debug. Debug is enabled with the CTM AG CFG command. Set the diagnostic parameter of 4 and then save. To disable it, set the diagnostic level to 0 and save. The agent log files are in the proc log directory, which is located under the agent directory. When you enable debug and you're looking for communications problems, search for the server name in all the files in the proc log directory. See if there are any messages related to the, to the issue, such as can't communicate with, can't get host by name failed for machine name, those kind of things. Check the times of the messages. Do all the files contain recent times? For instance, if the control and tracker process gets stuck on a job for some reason and you put it in debug, you can see that the tracker hasn't tried to update or send any messages in 20 or 30 minutes. That's probably too long and you'd want to restart that process. On the control and server side, debug is enabled with the command dbg lvl space uppercase ns space number four and number zero then hit return this will enable debug of the ns process showing messages going back and forth from the agents the log files are in the control m server proc log directory which is under the agent home directory the files for the ns process start with capital n capital s search these files for messages about the agent in question Make sure there aren't any messages in there like get host by name failed, communication timeout failed, and if it is, correct that, and it should correct the problem.